we have an awesome video for you tonight, so I need those thumbs ups and subscribe if you haven't already because we had two awesome boxes just price final records. And on top of that, we did an unboxing in the back room. And on top of that, we got more stuff on the super sales page on SpoonRailStore.com. So you definitely want to check that out and watch this video and leave me some comments. Please. We have a few of tonight's just price model records. And they're awesome. We're unboxing. Yes. That's what it's going to be like. And we're unboxing. No, we're unboxing. Unboxing. We need the world's fastest unboxing because it is a back room unboxing and not on the floor because it's a Friday and we actually are super, super busy at the moment. So, we gotta get this done. But these need to come out. That's right. There might be new releases in here that were released today. We have no idea. I'm looking for more, uh, no more tears. I know. Mmm, some Aussies. Santa did say that these boxes were pretty damn light. Uh-huh. She threw her box for me. Huh. 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 All right. What you got? I don't know. Pop pin. Mmm. Naruto in. All right, all right, interesting stuff. What you got? I got scorpions and traveling mulberries. Nice picture disc. Yes. All right. Told you these boxes were weird. Yeah, well, that's what I'm like. It felt like one record was going to be in there, and then it wasn't even one record. Mm, I see. She got the Mac DeMarco's coming out. Yes. That's right. What? Is it the indie exclusive though? Yes, yes, it is. All right. See, it's another light box with uh -huh. some weird stuffing. What you working with? Don't you got more Naruto? She got the good stuff. <laughs> Trevor Wilberry. Oh All right. God, I did add a bunch of stuff to spinbearoundstore.com today because I'm supposed to. And maybe a little bit later, I'll do like some sort of an update. Maybe. Uh, got one of the Friday releases. Carcass. Nice. Another carcass in stock. See, you got weird stuff. Yeah, I think I got pops. Mm, I, oh yeah, I did order a massive amount of pops because that section was looking hit. It's like I want to steal that one because that one definitely has a record in it. I hear you. Huh. Can she open it? I don't know. This could take her 20 minutes. <laughs> She's like, thanks, Dad. It's supposed to be the world's fastest unboxing. Oh, look at that. I get it. Damn, that took one second. What you got? Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. All right. Springtime in New York, volume 16. Ooh. Interesting. 16. That's, that's a right. lot of, yeah. that's a lot oh, of spring Bob times Dylan. in New York. You know what's funny? Mm -mm. That's the first one I've ever gotten. So I'm missing one through 15. Up. <laughs> mm. oh, see, see, now we give her the small little package and she's going to be struggling for 20 minutes. But you know something? I couldn't do any better. I just couldn't. Why do you take it? Alright, what you got? A record and pops. A record and pops. I think. Oh, that's a giant box set of... What is it? Enough said. Enough's enough. Ah, enough said. I thought Very was cool. Also a CD. Ah, Iron Maiden CD. <laughs> nice, nice. Rarities right. and demos. Very cool. We got one of those. That'll be up on the wall. That's uh, Traveling Wilburys and Rob Zombie. Oh, good. That Traveling Wilburys will probably be put on SpinAroundStore.com, possibly. Because Lord knows we need to. All right. Garbage. That's right. I threw all this cardboard away. And now it's going to re be restacked up like crazy people. Got more carcass. More carcass. Mm -hmm. And Cannibal Corpse. Nice. Oh, good rip. I know. Oh, man. The heck is this? The weak offense? Mmm. Is that, am I right? Well, that sounds good to me. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, ah! Nice. Very cool. I That's remember, Barbara. I don't remember this part. You, you don't? <laughs> no. Oh, she, she's Maybe trying to freak the parents movie. out? You don't remember that? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, more. Death proof soundtrack. More death proof. I still gotta check that one out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with it. Ooh, Collective Soul old. back in stock. There's a good one. Coming up next. I can Tina Turner. Look how pretty that is. Very pretty. Interesting stuff. Making a mess. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. All right. All right. More pops. I see the pinhead. Venus Williams. And another Beetlejuice. Ah, what happened? It was out. Oh, now it's in. Opaque <laughs> white vinyl strictly limited to 450 copies of Cannibal Corpse. Very cool. So maybe they checked it to make sure it really was opaque white. Mmm, and then you got the Foo Fighters. We will do a flip through at the end of this. 
she is trying to set up some pops over there. But little do they realize that down below, there are two mega boxes of 36 pieces each. Pops. I didn't realize it was on CD too. Boom. Because a lot of times they do them at different times. Carcass CD. Huh. Come on, slip that. All right, all right. Craig Jones, nice. Uh -oh. Under pressure. Do, 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 do. What's your favorite release this week? Billy Idol. Billy Idol. Billy Idol. In the midnight hour. The... Dude still rocks. He really does. Ah, carcass cassette. And it's red. Nice. And Nightwish. Night Very cool. Billy Idol's pretty badass. It is on the Super Sales page. Oh, my chemical romance. Nice. Finally coming back in stock. Nori. Oh. It's Noriega. UFO. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Foo Fighters. Fighters. Beartooth. Beartooth. I have that t-shirt. Yeah. Huh? I have one too. My bomb sleep. You know what? I think I was going to put these on the Super Sale page just because I love the album so much. Uh-huh. And I wanted other people to enjoy it too. Okay. At a discount. Okay. So I will totally put it up on the Super Sales page, right? Yes. Yeah, that sounds like an excellent idea. Because it's something that both me and Rihanna can endorse. Yes. It'll get you pumped up. You gotta listen to the lyrics a little bit. It gets crazier and crazier as it goes. Now, disease, their album Disease, I didn't like. That there was like three good songs on I liked, that. I liked aggressive. Yeah, I didn't like disease. Disgusting was good though. You really liked that one yep. too. Yep. Interesting. Wow, they did a hell of a job packing this one. Congratulations, you finally figured it out. <laughs> Freaking tape. That's right. That's right. And right now they're saying, oh my gosh, those scissors. Oh, they drive me nuts. Oh, don't you know what a box cutter is? No! No, no we do not! No, do you have kidding. any idea how many times I've sliced my hand open with a box cutter? Yep. Oh, the feet of Mono Masters. Back in stock. I ran out on the Super Sales page. Now they are back in stock. And Billy Eilish. Very cool. Another Mono Masters coming out the box. There should be a few of those. What you got? More Pops. More Pops. I told you those boxes were awfully light. Death the Death Grips. Grips. They've been selling too, which is nice. A lot of this stuff's been selling. Inglorious Bastards. Yeah, I was surprised how well that sold. D. Snyder. Now, which one is that? You gotta flip it over in order for me to tell. Uh, it ends in... What? Oh! Oh! My dude's here! <laughs> I ordered a shit ton of the White Castle slider dude. <laughs> Epic. Is it for Castle. Halloween? Yeah, you see, I grew up on White Castle. Every Halloween growing up. Oh, by the way, let, let me just tell you about this one really, really quickly. It ends in 120. Yes. If it doesn't have that little white sticker on it, it means it's black vinyl. Um, if it ends in a five, I believe, mm -hmm. it is the indie exclusive that is red. But yes, White Castle every single Halloween. That's what my mother would get us. And I think I figured out her method to her madness. She would do that on purpose, on Halloween, so we couldn't stay out all night. Because once you eat enough White Castles, you're coming home. You're co No matter what, you're, you're coming home. You've got to poop. Guaranteed. So, interesting stuff. Jeff, Jeff Buckley. Buckley. Yeah, it's on the Super Sales page. Ah. Just reading up the entire Super Sales page as they sell. Plus, we got tons of new releases out today. And the ones we have plenty extras of, I did list on there already. And I thought we had an excellent selection this time. Yeah. Of new releases. More White Castle dudes. I think I got 36 of them. Okay. I honestly thought the White Castle dudes were going to be in one of these boxes. We'll only pick up the other boxes. I'm afraid to know what's in these boxes yeah. then. Beautiful jumbo pile. I'm like, okay, this one has some weight to it. There, it has some possibilities. Mm. There goes Rihanna. Does Rihanna have records or does she have pops? Uh, this is going to be like a fun Funko Pop paradise. Yeah, it's more pops. All right, open them up quick. Just rip the tags, Mama, on the sides. Just so you can tell what it is. So we're not I wasting time. Oh. Uh, what you got? Ah, Kyle. Emo Kyle? I don't emo know. Emo Kyle. Oh, uh, that's the guy from Cool Runnings. Okay. Nathan Morris. And George, the basketball player. 
Thank you, George. Huh. We'll just put them right on here to drive her nuts. What you working with? Stone Cold Steve more, Austin. Yes, more of the Fire Nation. Dude. Admiral Zeal. Yes. What you got? Anybody good? A chicken ah. nugget. <laughs> not a chicken nugget. She got a cowboy chicken freaking nugget from Mickey D's. What? Oh, white man can't jump. Billy Hoyle. We had Sydney the other day. And Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas and China from WWE. Nice, nice. Sorry, guys. It's turning into a Funko Pop festival. There are records underneath. I just can't get to them. Oh, yeah. Look. There are really records under there. It was like, really? Are you kidding? Who do we got here? Mikey? Oh, from Goonies. Oh. Mikey from Goonies. And Data. And Data from Goonies? Uh-huh. And Ron. You got to lift the Data out. I'm kind of curious. Oh, look. He, he, he got the thing on. Remember, yeah, he opened up the thing. thing and it pops. Yeah. Who you got there, Rihanna? Uh, it's more of the Fire Nation, dude. Okay, okay. I got my share of the Fire Nation, apparently. You know, somebody's got to root for the bad guys. That's what ends up happening, man. Nobody roots for the bad guys, and then all of a sudden, the bad guys aren't so bad. No. I'm rooting for the bad guys because they're bad guys. For the sake of rooting for the bad guys. Okay, like that. Bad. Leroy Brown. He's the baddest damn cat in the whole damn town. Mm-hmm. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Nice, pink foil, saucer full of secrets. And we've got Fire Nation, dude. Mm. Uh, Jim Stevens. Foo Fighters. What's this? Oh, man, I'm kind of oh. digging my wall. King Gizzard. Yeah, your wall's doing pretty good over there. El King, Stone Sour. These are all available on spinaroundstore.com, and if they're not, let us know, and we can always list it for you. Mm -hmm. If we have it. Nice cage the elephant. The nameless rangers? Uh modern baseball. Ah. Yes. Oh, oh we got this dude. And then you yep. can throw the box. This is a raccoon Luigi, not a raccoon Mario. Oh yeah, you're right. Mmm, <laughs> we kept calling up. Oh, let's see, let's see the struggle. Is the struggle real? That's the poop face. <laughs> I see a CD in there. Mmm, gotta love it. All right, she's got a big box out from below now. Oh, that's pretty full of pops. Yeah. All right, what you working with? Oh, Metallica. Oh, the s and Metallica. Paramore. All right. UFO. Front bottoms. All right, and what's the CD? Arthur Prysock. Okay, it's was a that special, a special order? It's a special order. Nice. Huh. What you got? Huh. Put that over there. Mr. Monopoly. Mr. Monopoly. Oh, and I got the Mountain Dew guy from NASCAR. Right, Joe Hernard Jr. Kind of like Sammy Davis Jr. Jr. I love that movie. I know. It's so funny. It's the, it's the one with the stolen car with Charlie Sheen. Or, or the guy with the car wash. It's not Chris Rock. It's the other dude. I'm terrible with everybody's name. Hamilton. Shorty said, oh my goodness, you gotta get it. And I'm like, I never even seen Hamilton. Gangster Bart from The Simpsons. It's one of those things you haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, there, it's not a purpose. It's just one of those things. I just don't have no time. What you got? Jungle Cruise. Jungle Frank Cruise. from Jungle Cruise. Now, wouldn't that be The Rock? This is The Rock. Okay, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Mom, do we see that movie? You were at home. Okay. But we did see the Jungle Cruise. Okay. That's what I said. I wasn't sure, but I thought so. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where you are. You're were. a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. That's right. We got the Barbie. Barbie and the Rockers. Hello, Barbie. If I tickled you right now, would you would you knock over the whole wall? I don't know. Let's not find out. <laughs> Can I help you with something? This is so messed up. What you got? I don't know. You just gotta flip it. <laughs> That's why it's like this is so messed up. Hey, you got up. a whole empty box right there. Flip it into the box. All right, let's 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 show off your wall a little bit. <laughs> got some Dale Earnhardt Jr., some Mr. Monopoly, Wonder Woman, my awesome White Castle Burger Slider dude, 
which is ridiculous. How could you not like the slider dude? He will make you go to the bathroom if you have to, or if you don't. The avatars. Whoa. Tennis. Venus Williams. Boys to men dude. More Beetlejuice. That's right. If you're into pops, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Because we have an army of them. And we're still building the collection. Lots of Venus Williams. One Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, no, more Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yes. Huh. All right, what was in up? Oh, more, more slider dudes? Yep, more slider I dudes. love it. That's, that whole box should be full of them. Yep, that's a slider yep. dude. I, I, expected, I expected a full entire thing of them. Who we got here? More Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I'll check one more. Mr. Monopoly dude. Monopoly. Who's here? More Dale Earnhardt Jr. There's my girl, Barbie. Where's Ken? You don't need Ken. That's right, baby. Let's do a flip through. Okay. Let's just knock this flip through out. Okay. We've got the front bottoms, UFO, Paramore, Metallica, Modern, Modern baseball. baseball, KG Elephant, Mac DeMarco, Jane's Addiction, Stone Sour, L King. King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, Foo Fighters, Sufjan Stevens, Pink Floyd, Nuff Z Nuff. All right. Jeff Buckley, KG Elephant, Metallica, Shine Down, Shine Down, Jewis Priest, ABBA, D. Snyder, D. Snyder, uh, Inglorious Bastards, D Death Grips, Beatles, Beatles, um, Billy Eilish, Beartooth, Beartooth, um, Maury. Yeah, Foo Fires, UFO, Maury's, <laughs> My Chemical Romance, Foo Fires, Cannibal Corpse, Duro. I can Tina Turner. Okay. Collective Soul, Death Proof, Soundtrack, The Weirdtons, Yeah, <laughs> Cannibal Corpse, and Marcus. Yes. What you got? I got Rob Zombie, Bob Dylan. Carcass, ooh, King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, Traveling Wilburys, Scorpions, Mac DeMarco, Scorpions! Oh All right, and a whole crap ton of pops. Yes. What? So, uh, Santa, you weren't even in this unboxing. No, look at the mess. What are they, what are they making you do here? <laughs> yeah, keep me busy, you know. So this is the first Friday you worked in a very long time. It is. How did it make you feel? Okay. I liked it. Big release Friday was okay? Yeah, you know, it was a little busy in the morning, but uh, you know, I kind of expected that. All right, all right. It was good. Gotta get this stuff done. The SpoopingAroundStore.com Super Sales page has been updated with even more great stuff. You want to see it? You know what? What? We're on almost 300 items listed there. I know. 300. It's getting big. I'm going to have to stop. Uh-huh, we've got It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, Dark Knight soundtrack, the Beatles. What? The Beatles for sale. Do you know how many Beatles I've listed on there? All of them? Mm hmm. That's what Almost. I Almost. Oh, the new Billy Idol. You were putting my new Billy Idol on Super Sales page? I just want to plaster them all over my bedroom ceiling. She want more, more, more. Of Billy Idol. Mm hmm. Oh, that's a lot of them, too. Oh, D. Snyder. Leave a scar, and it will leave a scar. King Crimson. Who is it? I don't know it. King's X. King's X. King's X. Oh, I tried. Wait, you might want to take that one out. Okay. This one is going right here. It is not listed. It is a lie. Okay. The reason why is because it came up with no picture. Oh, okay. Mm. The monkeys and they were live. They were live. The Mike and Mickey show. Primus suck on this. Ooh, green jelly. What? Look at that splatter vinyl. Look how cool that is. Dun, this just dun, came out dun, today. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. Dun, dun. 2021. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the Cranberries Dreams. One left. The Baby. Eminem. Ooh, McCartney. Now a lot of these are indie exclusives and weird stuff. Ramones Rocket to Russia. Ramones? Get More it while it's hot. On the Super Sale page? Get right it while there's one there's one. There's one. Ooh, Pink Floyd, the later years. Pink Floyd. More. The police. Alanis Moore set. Ariana Grande, Billy Eilish, Liam Gallagher, and he was live, he was live, and unplugged, he was live, he was live. Mmm. Mmm, Death Cab for Cutie, 
Sid Vicious. Ooh, Misfits. Black Keys, Offspring. Some really good stuff here. Dio, what are you doing? The Beastie Boys. That's right. What are you doing? You gotta fight for, for your, your right, right to party. party. All right, now this is box 12. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was even gonna make a box 12. So we got the Scorpions. Ooh, Mac DeMarco. And that's the indie exclusive. Of course it is. Most Ooh. of these are. Traveling Wilburys, limited edition, 30th anniversary picture disc. There's only one. Okay, I'm mm. like, what? Death Proof. Ooh, Grind House. UFO, this just came out. Beartooth, this just came out. The Beatles. Mono Masters. See, that's all the Beatles. That is a tough one. Every Beatles that he can get in, he's apparently listening on the well. sales page. Ooh, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Weezer, Van Weezer, Neon Pink. So that one's an indie exclusive. Ooh, Bob Dylan, Freewheeling Bob Dylan. David Bowie. Blind Melon. I had to put that Blind Melon there. Why? Because I've been talking about it an awful lot. Okay. Post Malone. Only one. Deep Purple. Rage Against the Machine. What are you thinking here? Limited edition picture disc. What? But we don't know how limited it is. Mm. We don't know if it's the original, like the original one, where they made like 200 million copies and said limited edition. That's my favorite type of limited. <laughs> it never runs out. George Harrison. All th 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 yes. Th th but well, we had we had a lot of extra ones of these. I believe it's because it's the three volume, the three uh, LP. Okay. And it's not the five. It's not the six. It's the three LP version. You're putting my George Harrison on sale. You're putting my Billy Idol on sale. But you did put your Ramones on sale. Mm, my one Ramone. I know. There's more than one of mine. Hey, you'll be nice, or I'll put you on sale. <laughs> Act now while supplies last is only one of her. She's very limited, and I want three dollars. We've got a few of today's just price final records. And they're awesome. They're so awesome. They're super awesome. Do you know why they're so awesome? I do. Yeah, why is do that? Do you know why they're super awesome? Why are they super because awesome? Because I seen this stuff and I was like, oh yeah, that's the good box. But then I went over here and I'm like, man, you got the newer good stuff in the front there. I didn't know which one the good box was. They're both good boxes. I'm telling you. They really are. She got two slamming boxes she of does. great stuff. Okay, so we got the plasmatics. Meet the plasmatics. And it's clear. Ah, nice, nice. How cool is that? Pretty. Television, and this is their most popular album, but as well as they're credited to be one of the first one of the first punk bands before the Ramones. Basically, they're credited to be the ones who started the whole movement. Mmm, they credit a lot of people with starting that movement. That's like, what they say. It was them, but... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was them, but it was them, but it was them. Mm. But was it Lydia Lunch? Maybe. Lydia Lunch, her birth name was Lydia Ann Koch. Okay. Okay. And Like Mayor Koch? <laughs> What? Maybe, because she did grow up in Rochester, New York. Oh, okay. Okay. I see the resemblance. <laughs> she has hair, he didn't. Yeah, definitely a resemblance. <laughs> so, she left home and joined a musician's commune in New York City, and then she went to Max's Kansas City, and she met Alan Vega, oh. who was half of the electropop duo Suicide, and from there she formed the band Teenage Jesus and the Jerks. Now that is an iconic cover. Yes. I must say. Mm hmm I... So they were a very short-lived band, but they were very influential in the no wave scene. No wave. No wave. Mm. It was a 70s offshoot of punk. Okay. It's more avant-garde and experimental. Nice. Mm-hmm. And we've got another Lydia Lunch. And did you know that she formed her own production company and record label called Widow Speak? Okay. Because she wanted to be completely not commercial. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I did hear about her is how she got her name was from feeding all that musicians lunch. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's kind of like the story I've heard. Could I don't be one know. of those urban myths. Mm. And she worked with a lot of awesome people. You know what? What? Maybe she just got hungry and was like, I'm going to steal everybody's lunch. And they're like, what's your name? And she's like, I'm Lydia Lunch. <laughs> Give it up. Oh. She's a stink fist. Mmm, maybe that's how she got all the lunches. <laughs> See with Clint Run. <laughs> she <laughs> I ain't gonna go there. And then we've got this awesome 12-inch single from that's a UK import. 
Very cool. But another really cool song that she made was with Sonic Youth. Ah. It was rated one of the 50 most evil songs ever made. Evil. 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 Okay. Okay. Captain Hannah is the one of the music videos. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Very cool. Okay. Well, this is Halloween and... Interesting. It's yellow or orange, mm. okay? Now, she was also on a really awesome comp that was called No New York. It was a no-wave comp, and it was produced by Brian Eno. Nice. See how they all go together? Very much so. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this awesome Speed Trials comp that she was on with the Beastie wow. Boys. Yeah. And Sonic Youth Turn and Swans. Around. I'm just curious. Before video lunch, Swans. Mm -hmm. Toy Killer, Sonic Youth, A Grade on Mojo. I wonder if it's punk. I think that may be a punk song. From, I'm unfamiliar. Let mm -hmm. me know down in the comments. You guys would know. Okay. And then we got X, their album Los Angeles. Okay. Ooh, Patty Smith Group, You Light Up My Life is a radio station promo. It's unofficial. 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 Unofficial Patty Smith. Unofficial. Okay. Okay. Big pop. Yeah. Kill City. And this one's really cool because. Oh, wow. It's, it's green. green. My prom dress was that color. Oh. <laughs> Public Image Limited. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Mm hmm. And then we got Peter Barden's. This one is Psych Rock. Okay. A little more Psych Rock with the Incredible String Band. Okay. Throwing Stones. And they're serious, so you can go wiki wiki woo. But they're different pressings with completely different London labels. London calling. So but they both really. came out in 1966, <laughs> so it's kind of weird. We got Joni Mitchell, Mingus, Leonard Cohen, Little Folk Rock, Louis Fury, Mark Sandine, John Cale, Laura Nero, Bruce Springsteen, Jim Steinman. Now, this was the album that he wrote for Meatloaf. And then Meatloaf didn't do it. He did it. Ah. Yeah. He did such a good job. He was like, no, Meatloaf, you cannot have my work. And this one does have the seven-inch single with it, which a lot of times gets lost. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. That's exciting. Deep Purple. Machine Head. Mm-hmm. Love it. In Excess, The Swing. Kick? The Swing. Oh. oh. Swing. Oh, okay. She's swinging. <laughs> mm. Peter Frampton. And guess what? He comes alive. He's live. He's live. So we were in Hallmark, right? <laughs> Speaking of swinging. Okay. We were in Hallmark about five minutes ago uh -huh. before the mall closed. Okay. They had pineapples. Okay. Now, do you know what an upside down upside down pineapple represents? No. They had pineapple squishmallows. Okay. I was a little concerned there. Huh. Because an upside down pineapple is supposed to be like for swingers okay. to identify as swinging. Were, were all the pineapples upside down? No, not, okay. not before I was there. But I feel bad for me. Pineapple's my favorite fruit. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this. And, and my sister loves pineapples. I always oh, give her a weird pineapple no. thing. Yeah, but she's I, chuckling inside. I gave her a pineapple cup for her birthday one year. I gave her a, a golden pineapple. I gave her a ceramic pineapple. Well, if you're not believing me, check out TikTok. It's called Swing Talk. Okay. Mmm. And oh. all it is a bunch of upside down pineapples and they're talking. Okay, well Next. let's talk about Peter Frampton and how he comes alive and that he released four studio albums before he released this live album, which sold over eight million copies. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. I got a fun fact. Yeah, fun what's that? that? Do you know that Peter Frampton shared your mother's TikTok yesterday on his Twitter page? Yeah. Oh, wow. Peter freaking Frampton. We were like, What? what? Awesome. John Lennon. And Yoko Ono. Hi! Stars. Toto. Simon and Garfunkel. Dickie Betts. The Who. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Mm. The Stiffs. Okay. Moody Blues. <laughs> they More should have upside down pineapples. Moody <laughs> Blues. Blues. More Moody Blues. We got another one here. Star Castle. Oh, oh. Little prog rock. And we got some more Star Castle. Molly Hatch, your best covers. Music does not match. The covers. Yes, it does. A little bit. A little bit. Robin Trower, Jethro Tull, Judy Collins, Melanie. Very cool. That's cool, right? Yes. Melanie. Joan Baez, Carol King. Neil Diamond. More Neil Diamond. Jose Feliciano. 
Allen Ginsberg reads Kaddish. What? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that Allen Ginsberg was born in Patterson and they exiled him from Patterson for smoking marijuana? No. Yes. He was finally allowed to go back to Patterson just a couple years before he died. Oh. They took some really nice pictures of him on Garrett Mountain. <laughs> They probably uh, reinvited him back and gave him the key to the city at that point. Probably. Because now in Patterson, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, Frederico Fellini. They, you know, they always release a lot of Record Store Day soundtracks that he did. Okay. Yeah. John Coltrane. The best. Oh, wow. His greatest years. Donnie Hammond. Ursula. Weather Report. Under the sea. Bob James. <laughs> Barry White. Did you know that Barry White has had six number one R&B singles? Okay. Did you know that that cover had a crease on the front of it? I know. And we got more Barry White. And did you know that he's sold over 100 million records worldwide? That's it. Over 100 million records worldwide. <sighs> a lot of babies being born to Barry White. <laughs> I know. Just saying. Did you know his nickname was The Walrus of Love? The walrus of love. Yeah, that's I so was like I can't say that. That sounds that sounds kind of mean. That, that was his nickname. Yeah. Maybe maybe walrus meant something different. Maybe, maybe. like pineapples. Oh. It's like secret oh, code. Like baby. Maybe. Meet my walrus. Gross. On his desk. <laughs> we got more Barry White and another one. And this is so exciting because we have absolutely no Barry White or Love Unlimited Orchestra. Nice. We got more Love Unlimited Orchestra. Stevie Wonder. Does it have the seven inch? This one isn't the one with the seven no. inch. No, that's the oh. key of life. Oh. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> more Stevie Wonder. That was terrible. <laughs> we got another Stevie Wonder. Just didn't want to come out. <laughs> Barbarous. Nice, that's some good funk. Mm-hmm. We got two of them. All right. Mm-hmm. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Bobby Womack. Move it. Roberta Flack. Al Giroux. Karen Finley is house music. What? Yeah. That's house music. <laughs> it's house music and it's an import. House music going that long. Mm, 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 mm. What? It's That's an so import from it. Benelux. 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 Next time. <laughs> uh, Chris Christopherson and. Cher? Re no, Rita. I know. Okay. Oh, Newport Folk Festival, Volume 2, 1963. Uh, La Mysterious de Vogue Bulgars. Don't bogart it, dude. Buffy St. Marie, do they know it's Christmas? Okay. Visit to Ukraine with Sofia Raturo. Okay. Okay, it's pop, and it's it's uh, Ukrainian, and people apparently, like, really want it. I was, like, shocked. Okay. Yeah. And right, then we got classical. Viva Las Vegas. Next. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I was close. I knew it was something like that. Of Monsters and Men? Arctic Monkeys. Decemberist. That was just terrible. Seether. <laughs> I am the walrus. <laughs> My God. The Lemon Pipers, Green Tambourine, which was their most famous song. Yes. Mm -hmm. At least you're not upside down pineapple. Mm. And we've got another Lemon Pipers with Jungle Marmalade. That's a crazy cover, huh? Stop with Camel. Joe Cocker. Barry Goldberg, Street Man. Now, Barry Goldberg is freaking awesome. When he was a teenager in Chicago, he played with like Otis Rush and all the really awesome blues people. And he started a band with Steve Miller from the Steve Miller Band. And they were doing their own blues band thing. And he played the keyboards with, um, oh, be, to back up Bob Dylan for his first electric performance. How cool is that? He's pretty cool. Yeah, and he's also a really amazing songwriter, and he's had so many cool people that have sung his songs, like Rod Stewart and obviously Steve Miller. Mm. Mm hmm. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> huh? And we got another Barry Goldberg, Donovan, Judy Collins. Oh, the Rita Bill. <laughs> Judy Mitchell. Buffett. The Bee Gees. Bee Gees. M Jerry Lee Lewis. Great balls of fire. Elvis. The Association. Guilty. Butler on the Bowery. Okay. Janice Ian. Janice Ian. Steve Miller Band. There it is. What? The Rascals. More Rascals. Carpenters. Carpenters. 
Share. Sherry. No. <laughs> I got you, babe. Da, 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 da. Bill Haley and the Comets. Roseanne Cash. Brett. Judy Collins. Judy Collins. More Judy Collins. Harry Chapin. Joan Armatrading. Rod Stewart. Carly Simon. BJ Thomas. Dave Mason. Linda Ronstadt. Peter Paul and Mary. Jeff Lorber with Karen White. Mm. New songs of the 70s. Bang! Quadraphonic. Mm hmm. Nice. Limo. Sons of Anarchy. This was from Record Store Day, like. 2015 or 2016 okay. and apparently people really want it now all right so i thought that was cool dinner dinner diner mm. 2001 space odyssey endless love soundtrack sound of music prez prado johnny gill johnny gill johnny gill and is considered hip-hop i know i know stan gets gets a go-go <laughs> Dave Brubeck. Whenever I hear of Stan Getz, you know what comes to my mind? Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy. Do you remember uh, the Lethal Weapon movies? Mm -hmm. Leo Getz. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh. So every time you see Stan Getz, I'm like, the, the, that guy's character just comes into my head. Okay. I, every time I say Stan Getz, I think it gets in Gilberto. Oh. Okay. Klaus Wunderlich. And this is Soul Jazz from Germany. Nice. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Della Reese, Nat King Cole, Dinah Washington, John Lewis, Billy Vaughn, Manhattan Transfer, Cleo Lane, The Three Sons, Living Stereo, Bob Thompson, Thompson. Donna Summer, Earth, Wind, and Fire, The Supremes, At the Copa, so you know what that means? They were live, they were live! What? Live, the they were live at the Copa. Copa Cabana. Stephanie Mills, Dionne Warwick on stage and in the movies. James Lastband, The Four Tops, Ralph McTell, Ken Leon in concert, and Rod McEwen. All right, all right. It's pretty good boxes you got going on there. You know what I got to say now? Mm -mm. I need a poll. Yep. Pick something, anything. So you can win this battle of epic stuff. Daft Punk, man. What? So we're working with here, man. We got a lot of scorpions in stock. A truck ton of scorpions. That's right. We even got some on the super sales page. They're all over the place, man. Scorpions. That's right. Seether. Been selling some Seether lately. Seven Dust. I think I've been through that one. Let's see what we got in here. A couple Night Rangers. One New York Dolls left. <coughs> Interesting overkill. Jersey. Definitely Jersey. I think they're all back. Open. What? <gasps> Suicidal tendencies. What you got? Flash. Ah, savior of the universe. What you got? Monkeys. The monkeys. Mmm, interesting, interesting mm. poll. If I had to choose, man. Queen versus the monkeys, man. I'm, I'm totally going with headquarters because that thing is full of hits. Flash Gordon got a couple, but... I'm going with the monkeys. Who would you pick? Let me know down below. Would you pick the epic monkeys or the fabulous Flash Gordon, which is a soundtrack by Queen? All right. Let me know. And I'm done. All these $1 DVDs are filled up to the brim. That's right. It doesn't stop around here. The work just keeps on going, doesn't it? Yes. Mmm, how our crane machine is looking. They're still looking excellent and full. All right, all right. Healthy cream machines. <laughs> how was your day? Really good. How was yours? Ah, I was tired. You know, what are you going to do? That's what happens when you get old. You get tired real quick. Yes. It's kind of the way life is, right? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? So now they got to leave us a comment and let us know what their favorite record in one of those boxes was because we had some really awesome stuff. They got to give us a like, a big old thumbs up because everyone likes a thumbs up because when you do good, you get good. And then they have to subscribe, 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 ring that bell, ding, ding, ding. We do a bit like this a lot and we'll see you soon. 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 Mmm, that spin me around mm -hmm. in the Palmer Park Mall. Uh-huh. What you got? Ice cream. Secret ice cream? It's a secret because your mama don't know. <laughs>